Welcome to another exciting video on Trading Kernel. In this video, we're going to be looking at the trade assistance for the Meta Trader 4. This is the version 9.8, and this video is sort of dedicated to you know manual traders, I mean people that trade manually using their own strategies. So I have a question for you guys. How exactly do you place your trades in the Forex market? I guess most of you actually do place your trades in the MetaTrader 4 or the MetaTrader 5. Now, usually uh, you perform your analysis on softwares like TradingView or any other software that gives you you know better view of the market. Then you want to place your trades. Hopefully, sometimes you guys use a calculator, and uh, you can confess that sometimes it's stressful, and sometimes you could make uh, mistakes that, that could affect your overall trading strategy. And that's why we have the trade assistance here. It's one of the tools that can help you instantly calculate your lot size, your risk to reward ratio, and how much you intend to make from a trade if it if it actually hits your take profit, or how much you could lose in a trade. If it actually hits your stop loss, all of those can be calculated in an instance on the Meta Trader 4 using the Trade Assistance. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the Trade Assistance, how to install the Trading Assistance, and probably how to you know use the Trading Assistance to enhance your trading strategy. So let's get started, guys. Expert advisor, you need to head over to tradingcanal.com/product/trade-assistance. I'm going to be dropping this link in the description for you guys. For those of you who want to download the system, you can see we have the trade assistant here. And if you're subscribed to our membership, you can actually download this expert advice sold for absolutely free, all right, on the product page here. Otherwise, you have to add it to your cart and then check out. It's just $25 only. You can see a little bit of description about how the expert advice works, some of the functions, the conclusions, the management, and then the rest of that. All right, so you can just click on here to download this expert advice sold. So I've downloaded the Trader Assistance MT4 version 9.8 and you can see it comes with two folders actually. We have the Expert folder and then we have the MSI MG32 folder which includes the DLL file here. And we also have the Experts folder which includes the Trade Assistant.exe4 file. So we're going to be using this fresh terminal here for our installation. And the first thing we're going to have to do is to ensure that we have disabled our uh, real-time protection. This is because the default antivirus on Microsoft detects DLL files as potential viruses. So it automatically deletes it when you extract the DLL file. So please ensure to disable your antivirus with real-time protection. And probably once you're done with the installation, you can enable it back. So to do that, head over to your settings. We're just going to head over to update and security. Click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. And click on manage settings. And you can see our real-time protection here. Is turned off all right so once you're done with that you can just open up the dll file extract the dll file here as you can see i already extracted mine so i'm just going to open up the dll folder and copy the dll file here so i'm going to open up my meta trader 4 here just going to close out meta trader 4 i have the icon pin here so i'm just going to right click on the icon click on right click on the meta trader and then click on the properties and then click on open file location then i'm going to right click here and click on paste to paste out the terminal here and then you can click on replace once you have this here but i'm not going to click on replace because i have this um yellow file already copied into this folder and i don't want to do this because it's going to log me out and i have to log in again so please make sure you do this and replace the file and then you can log in once you open up your meta trader for so i'm just going to close out of here and close out of here as well now once you're done with that you can close out of here as well and then double tap on the meta trader icon on the tax bar So we have our meta trader 4 opened the next thing we're going to do is to head over to the file we downloaded from trading kernel to then click on the trade assistant mc4 so we head over back to the previous directory double tap on the expert folder tap on the mc4 then copy the ex4 file here then head over to our meta trader click on file click on open data folder then click on mk4 click on experts then right click here and click on this so i'm just going to replace this here then I'm going to cast a lot of hair. Then open up the market watch here to bring out one of the symbols we're using in this case. So we can just use GBPUSD in this case here. Okay, we're going to open this number one our time frame. And then we're going to open up our navigator here. We're going to right click on the expert advisors directory, click on refresh. Then we're going to double tap on the trade assistant MT4. So you can see we have uh, some of the inputs here. We are not going to be looking at that in this case here. So you can just click on OK. And you can see our trade assistant version 9.8 has currently been loaded up to our chart so the first thing you can see here 
is the RUTP and the RSL. So that's currently set as one is to two. That is set as default and our risk here is currently set as zero. So we can just add our risk as how much we want to risk. Say so let's say we want to risk 1% of our total accounts. We can actually risk that. You can tap on this to you know increase that and you can tap on this to you know reduce that. So we also have our lot calculation where you can calculate the lots and then you can cap you can click on the lines to show up the lines as well. So we have the comments, whatever you want your comments to show us on your trade. We also have the lot size here that automatically shows once you add your risks. Remember, we have our take profit set at 200 and our stop loss set at 200. And that is exactly where these lines are at the moment, which is set at 200 points. So we can drag this up here, all right, to increase our points and we can drag this up here to reduce our stop loss point. All right, so you can see the TP and the stop loss has automatically changed. And you can see here, we have a buy order set currently. If we take this up here, it's gonna change to a buy stop because it's actually above the price. If we take this below the price, it's gonna automatically turn into a buy limit order as it's below the price. We can also click on reverse to reverse it in the opposite direction. So we have our stop loss up, then we have our take profit down. So this is currently set to a sell stop because it's actually below the price. Then we take it above the price, it's gonna automatically change to a sell limit order right so you can actually modify the stop loss the way you like and automatically modify the take profits the way you are then you can click on calculate slots to automatically recalculate the lot size for you okay so now once you have this done here you can click on whichever of these functions here to automatically place your order okay so once we have this here we are going with the sell limit order we can just click on the sell limit order here and automatically we have a sell limit order activated here on our chart so you can see we have a sell limit order with the lot size of 0 0.12 which has been automatically calculated for us guys so we have this here we have our stop loss here and we have our take profit here so if i click on the close section this is where you can actually close all of the borders opened by the expert advisor which you actually manually open yourself so we have uh close by if we had any buy orders here this would have been on the shown on the tab here we have close sell we have close profits we have close loss and then we have close all so we have close buy stop close sell stop delete stop and then we have delete uh buy limit you can see we have delete sell limit order here and then we have one this shows that we actually have one sell limit order here so we click on delete sell limit order here okay so you can see that we are actually deleted the sell limit order Okay. So we can actually close all if the profit is greater than an actual value per trade or the percentage is actually greater than a certain percentage. So let's say you have about 50 trades open up or you opened up on your chart rather and you'd like to please close each of those trades individually once they pass a certain you know, threshold or a certain level. So let's say the profit is greater than a particular amount or the loss is greater than a particular amount. Right. So let's go to the settings here. The settings here is where you can set the root calculation. So you can see on the trade here, we are risking 1% and that is actually set to our balance. So you can set that to equity, free margin, custom value or currency as well. So you can set uh, it to whatever you want. And then you can also set a custom value here. So let's say you want to be risking uh, a percentage of a custom value, which is lower than what you have on your account balance. You can actually do that as well. You can also set a spread limit here. So let's say you don't want to trade when the current spread is over a particular amount. You can also set that here as well. So you can also um, add a split order here and you can also manage all symbols here as well. So we have this currently not selected. And let's say you've performed all of this and then you want to save this as a preset, which you can load on and use later. You can also do that as well. So you can also see some of the information here. We have our balance, we have our equity, we have our margin. We have the rest of these values here then you can see for the symbol here you can see the current spread for the symbol the stops level the minimum lots the maximum lots the lot step the calculated tick value and the rest of the information as well you can also see the statistics here to see how much the expert advisor has made or how much you have made on your account because you're actually trading with the expert advisor let me remind you that this uh, trade assistance is more like an assistant to you to help you make your trades you know faster and uh, more efficient that is exactly why we have this trade expert so if you have any questions guys feel free to reach out to us at the trading kennel support team and we'll be more than happy to assist you so i'll see you guys in the next video
Bye for now.